tragedy of Macbeth or or WTF? Yeah. Yes. Tragedy. Okay. So the tragedy yes. of Macbeth is the new version of uh, the Shakespeare. Yes, it's definitely right. Previously brought to the screen, oh, there's you know Throne of Blood. Um, there's the Palance, which because so the Kurosawa transposed it to feudal Japan. The Polanski is famous for its early 70s. I mean, that period of the early 70s, and it's, you know, it's blood splattered. And then recently there was Justin Kurtzel's version from 2015, which was one of the films that was available in our TV pick of the week. This is much more sombre, black and white rendering from Joel Cohen, Denzel Washington's Macbeth, Francis McDormand's Lady Macbeth, Brendan Gleeson's Duncan, Bertie Carvel's Banquo. Good very cast. A very solid cast. And then Catherine Hunter as the Weird Sisters, who turns in a remarkable performance. Um, it's, a, it's a very physical performance. Again, it's kind of almost closer to dance than it is to straight theatre. It's the way in which the body is used to make the human form resemble a crow and the sort of angularity of the crow. As I'm, this is, you can't see this on the radio, but as I'm doing this, I'm moving my arms around in a pathetic attempt to kind of capture. It's like Marcel Marceau is in <laughs> the room. It's just like in the room, in the room with you. Yes. And it's a really, I mean, it's a very adventurous uh, way of doing the sisters, and it kind of works very well. Visually, when I first saw the film, I thought, that's interesting. It's kind of, it looks like a Carl Dreyer film, or it's got that kind of. You know, maybe even noiry because it's, it's everything is everything is very designed. It's not natural. It's kind of the light in it. I suppose there's even a hint of German expressionism in there, but visually very arresting and a piece for the eyes. On the on the rest of it, and it's been very well received. I mean, people have really you know I've seen five star reviews for it all over the place. My issue with it is that although the individual performances are good, they, they appear to be individual performances. What you don't get, from my point of view, is, and I've seen, you know, as everybody has, I've seen, seen Macbeth on stage a few times, I've seen some great versions of Macbeth, and, and uh, I've seen some interesting film adaptations of Macbeth. It, the, the play exists in the interaction between characters. And yet the film seems to me to exist in soliloquies, in characters doing what they do in isolation. Even in the central marriage, even in the relationship between Macbeth and Lady Macbeth, what you're not getting is that visceral, you know, back and forth. What you're getting is two people doing performances that seem oddly unrelated. Now, there are some great moments. The, uh, you know, I, I don't think this is a plot spoiler because it's Macbeth, but, you know, the <laughs> thing about Burnham Wood coming to Dunsinane is brilliantly rendered because that's always one of the things in the play that you go, how's that going to work? And in the film you go, ah, that's how that works. But compare this to, because I watched this recently, I watched Baz Luhrmann's Romeo and Juliet recently and the language in that just flies off the screen. I mean, it just zings. And I didn't get that... With this, it felt like I admired it from a distance and I felt that it was a technical exercise that had some great elements, um, of which Catherine Hunter is the, is the greatest. But it never, it didn't get me in the gut, which is kind of odd because when you consider, I mean, Macbeth is a really, you know, it's a, it's a play about blood and guilt and, you know, all that stuff. And this seemed like, and this is not pun intended, it seemed like an oddly bloodless interpretation. Much to admire, much to be interested by. But have you seen it? No. I would, I'd be really interested to know what you think because I've seen five-star reviews for it okay. all over the place, including from people who are of, of this parish and whose opinion I respect very much. I didn't get that five-star thing from it. I got, okay. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's interesting. But Macbeth needs to be not interesting. Macbeth needs to be... Anyway, it's been in theatres. It's now coming to Apple TV. People can make up their own mind about it.